Alright, in this video, we're going to look at some example questions related to phase difference. Okay, so you will get a better understanding, a better understanding regarding phase difference after uh, these questions. So let's look at the first one, question number eight. A wave with a frequency of six hundred hertz has, has a speed of three sixty. Okay, this is the v that we have the equation of v equals f lambda that day. Okay, what is the phase difference between the motions of the two points on the wave that are 0 0.3 meter apart? Okay, so now we have the uh, wave here. Okay, plotted against distance. This is their displacement. Alright, so we are told that there are two points that are 0 0.3 meter apart. So now we, we can't plot them on the graph yet because we really don't know what's the wavelength. So which means that the first step of this uh, is to find the lambda so that's 360 divided by 600 then you should get 0 0.6 meter All right so we know that now uh, in between two identical points is 0 0.6 meter that's the wavelength you can pick any identical points and then there are two points that are 0 0.3 meter apart so take for example uh, we change the color first so we have this and this which is exactly uh, 0 0.3 because they are just half of what i have drawn for this uh, one wavelength all right so 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.6 that's the ratio of their uh, uh, ratio of their their phase right of one oscillation so remember we multiply this by 2 pi to get the phase difference then at the end, you should get the answer to be pi. Okay, so let's look at the next question. We have the uh, displacement again, distance again, and then uh, we know that this progressive wave is moving from the left to the right. That doesn't matter. So let's look at the first one here. The phase difference between x and y. So again, the same technique. So you pick any identical point and then we notice the wavelength and then we see what's the difference of the uh, distance compared to this so let's say I pick point X and this identical point will be here okay you can pick others to try to see whether you get the same answer and then we know that this is one wavelength from here we can now identify that the uh, Y XY actually is half a wavelength so immediately you know that this is uh, ratio of the half so it means it's half times 2 pi that will give you the pi region all right so 9 2 and 3 and question number 10 will be your uh, homework yeah so for submission okay